I've always been told that you can't drink red wine with fish. Well, I tell you, you can, actually. And sometimes it's also enjoyable. There are some red wines, like uh, a special wine from Sicily, Fiammata, which is perfect with, with fish. Bibemus fratres. Let's drink, O oh brothers, to avoid that the devil take hold of your souls. Tutte le strade portano a Roma. All roads lead to Rome and all our senses to Italy. History, architecture, food, lifestyle. Now a short journey through the amazing culture of Italian wine. Yes, I'm glad that you mentioned the culture of wine because we do think that it's a cultural fact. When you drink wine, you uh, can realize that the main ingredient in wine is indeed culture in the form of tradition. Uh, it's a great tradition in Italy, of course. I would say that as most important things in life, uh, also wine has been uh, invented by the Greeks and brought to mass production and organization by the Romans. So it's a long-standing tradition of the Italian culture. Italian wine is considered the final frontier of wine knowledge. Mr. Ambassador, let's start with Sangiovese, Sangue di Giove. Sangue di Giove, yes, it's, a, it's not only a, a wine, it's a wine in itself, the Sangiovese, which is located in the Romagna uh, region, in Emilia Romagna, but it's uh, used uh, as grapes for several blends. Uh, even the most known wines, uh, Brunello di Montalcino, Morellino di Scansano, uh, you have plenty there, basically made with uh, Sangiovese uh, grapes, uh, blended with, in, in, with other grapes and in different proportions, of course, including a wine from my own region, Rosso Piceno. And among others, the most known ones, maybe uh, Barolo, Amarone, Barbera, Lambrusco, Chianti. Chianti itself is made mostly of Sangiovese. So Brunello, Chianti, Barolo or Amarone? Ah, I confess I'm partial to Morellino di Scansano, which is, comes from the same uh, origin, uh, Sangiovese. Uh, a local production, very limited to the area of Scansano in Tuscany. But of course, it's a matter of taste is so disputable, like all taste is, and linked to personal reasons or life experience. We all know and like Prosecco, but there are also Lambrusco, Franciacorta. Which is your favorite spumante? I confess that I'm partial to Prosecco which is uh, originally from, uh, located mostly in the Veneto region. You know, I, you see that I always mention the, the origin of grapes, but that's a, also a peculiar fact of Italy. Uh, the production is of incredible variety. Uh, that's our richness, I would say, a peculiar richness, because all regions, but all provinces, mainly all towns or villages, have their own wine. Uh, with their own grapes. We have more than 350 different grapes in Italy. And if you take into account the fact that such grapes can be differently mixed or blended, you come out with an incredible uh, variety of, of wines and brands, all different from each other. Papa Francesco dice, senza vino non c'è festa. Wine is also a sacred drink. How does it make you relate to spirituality? Well, as a matter of fact, yes. Uh, wine drinking is, as I said, not only a cultural uh, choice, but also a very intimate experience and at the same time a social experience because we Italians, we rarely drink alone. We drink in company with our friends. So it's something to share. And so there's also a spiritual ingredient in that. But at the same time, it's intimate because once you quit the party, you have your own experience of that party. You have one of the most famous cuisines in the world, but a meal without wine is a day without sunshine. <laughs> this is Italian proverb. That's more or less what my grandparents would, uh, would say. When my mother was like, I think, 14, she's been taught by her parents to drink wine. A lunch or a dinner without wine is not complete. 
So she was taught actually to drink wine. She was, uh, how to say, commanded to do that because at least a glass of wine per meal is sort of compulsory. Mangia bene, ridi spesso, ama molto. Is this the Italian recipe for happiness? I think it's a good recipe. I don't know whether it, it's Italian or not, but I think we Italians, we adhere to that, yes. Life is made of, not only of great pleasures, but of daily routines, rituals, you know. Sometimes it's also important to pair food and the right accompanying wine or other, or other drink. Though there's maybe too much stress about that. Uh, it, it, I've always been told that you can't drink red wine with fish. Well, I tell you, you can, actually. And sometimes it's also enjoyable. There are some red wines, like uh, a special wine from Sicily, Fiammata, which is perfect with, with fish. Your Excellency, are you a wine collector? No, <laughs> I'm not, oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm a wine drinker. Uh, collecting would be a, a, a terrible waste. The first glass of wine in your life? We should really go back in time because, you know, you should, my family used to produce wine, so I was born with wine. And maybe the first uh, uh, taste of wine I had in my life was unexpected and unwanted because as a kid I was asked to help uh, a decanting wine from uh, uh, Damjan to bottles and so I used uh, a tube and I was an inspiring and I didn't mean to drink it but I did. If you own a vineyard what slogan would you choose to promote your wine? Bibemus fratres which is uh, let's drink O oh brothers but addressed to monks which is actually part of a longer sentence which is let's drink O oh brothers to avoid that the devil take hold of your souls. Salute! Salute! Toate bune pentru România și Italia!